Testing, testing, one, two, three. Hello, what testing, up, what up? testing. I'm getting ready because we have to head out of here in, I'm hoping, a couple hours. It is a, a wet, rainy, dark day, but I'm hoping that the sun will peek out. gonna do lips and I realized we're about to go eat so let's just eat first and then we'll finish the look later and blow dry my hair okay yay there's great lighting in here this is actually in an extra large and I was afraid that I might end up like swimming in it but I like it I mean I did want it to be oversized it's like really comfortable that's the sweater <laughs> we are finally on the road. We are two hours behind schedule. Matt, why are we two hours behind? So I had some clients that needed some last minute things done. So scrambling, just trying to get it knocked out, um, some, some stuff shot and loaded onto a memory card so that I can edit on the go once we get to uh, Columbia. I grew pretty impatient just a bit ago because like, you know, we are two hours behind and I didn't record this, but we actually had, like we were on the road and then 10 to 15 minutes in, Matt was like, is it okay if we turn around? Will you hate me if we turn around? And so I was just like gritting my teeth, you know, like, okay, we're already late, but I mean, it's not like we're that far off, so let's just find to turn around. I think that's the reality of being like a content creator, producer, just working for yourself. The plus side is like you have a lot of flexibility as to like when you want to do the work. But on the other side, work can really spill into like every aspect of your life. But we are finally on the road. Luckily, Columbia is only like a few hours away from Atlanta, so it's really not too far of a drive. My coffee flavored cold brew. Wait, that didn't make any sense. It's my coffee flavored milk, but it has cold brew in it. <laughs> By the way, how are how are you liking the camera so far? I like it. I mean, it's really lightweight, which is so nice because I think forever, I'm sure people always wanted a good like hybrid or in between of something that's like lightweight and portable enough, but also has like the quality of a DSLR, and that's exactly what this is. It's not as like small as a point and shoot or a phone camera. I mean, phones, phones shoot pretty decent quality footage these days. I mean, that's why a lot of the vlogs I've done um, in the past were all with my phone, but there's definitely a higher like quality with this. I'm curious, when you guys pack for a trip, even if it's like a, a short weekend trip like this one, how early in advance do you pack? I definitely was, I was nagging him like the past, since the past couple days and this, since this morning because I was like, you need to pack, you need to pack. Things might not always be peachy, but hey, we are going on vacation. I'm actually excited about this Airbnb. It's evening time, so it's pretty dark. I think I'm gonna give you the tour tomorrow when it's nice and brighter. Actually, you're getting the tour now because I wanna do this place justice. It is so beautiful. I think she drew inspiration from the mallard duck, so you'll see the touches of green and brown, just like the mallard duck spread throughout the place, and it's just so nice. And fun fact, this place used to be the neighborhood grocery store before they renovated it into a home. So it has that little bit of charm to it and that's why we decided to stay here. Highly recommend it. Thank you. 
cute little house. It's good. Yeah. I'm glad, I'm glad we went the Airbnb route instead of a hotel. Because the last time we stayed at a hotel in Charlotte, couldn't really share elevators, even though people did it anyways. And it like, you just, we had to wait forever and it was kind of, I don't know. This is nicer. We can just come and go as we please and not have to like wait on people or wait for an empty elevator. Okay, quick advent of the day. I've got the sweater that I got from Nordstrom Rack on these pants. I can't remember what the brand is, but I'll, I'll put it in a title on the screen. And then these boots from Steve Madden. Um, just a comfy shirt. Like I mentioned earlier, you guys pretty much already saw the outfit. But I, it is pretty cold tonight, and that's why I ended up like packing a ton of layers. I kind of wish this was like an oversized. I actually wish both of these were oversized because then it would like layer better. But let's just see which one looks better. Oh, this already feels tight. This is probably not going to be it. <laughs> yeah, that feels way too tight. Does this look funny? Yeah. It looks funny. That's not, that's not gonna work then. No, it's good. Oh, it's good. It's, it's Gucci. It's Gucci. <laughs> it's okay. It's interesting. If it was there, it would be nicer. And apart from that, this is the only other jacket I have, which I brought just in case it rains, but I don't really love it with this brown sweater, and it's not going to provide that much more warmth. So this will have to be good. <laughs> Let's go back out in the room. Okay. I can sit on this really cool chair. Don't use cool. I mean, nice. <laughs> this chair is so good. <laughs> <laughs> You're so cool. <laughs> <laughs> are we doing oysters? What are we doing for dinner? I looked at some restaurants and I feel like something lighter, because I think they do. A lot of the restaurants here serve like heavier stuff. Yeah. It's just kind of the nature of it. Like it's more like Southern American food. Mm. Yeah, I think we could do oysters. Well, maybe I should switch to my black first. 